is police officer. I guess uh, working in an older neighborhood, uh, there's a lot of older folks that have lived here for eons. And they're getting to be older. They're the World War II veterans, the people that have got all of the information. And nobody wants to listen to them anymore. The uh, youngsters growing up now would just assume victimize them than listen to them. And uh, they're really who I like to serve. They're, uh, they're a valuable source of information, and when they pass on, the generation is going to be lost. We had a car that just left a well-known dope house. We observed a bike go down, and we're going to try to stop this vehicle and uh, see if we can recover the drugs. Channel. George 24 TV. Yeah, with Lincoln 71. 1100 New York. How you doing? What's up, bro? It's Nile Port Police. Step out of the car. ID? I'll grab the car. What you do with what you just bought? I didn't buy anything. Move your foot. I started to get weed and they didn't have it. You got anything in here I need to know about? Oh, man, I swear. Keep your hands on the car, okay? Reach way out. Step way back. Spread your legs way wide. Thank you. You got anything on you I need to know about? Do you mind if I check? You can check. How much weed were you gonna buy? I was just gonna buy a dime, man. Dime? Yes, sir. Drive all the way over here for a dime? It, it's dry, dude. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't get nothing. Nobody answered the door. Justin, where are you from? Uh, North Richland Hills. North Richland Hills. Man, I'm sorry, dude. I'm going. You need to apologize I'm to me. Man. I swear to God, there ain't nothing on us. I tried to get some dime, dude. They didn't have none. They don't I'm sell sorry. weed at that house. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Do they? How much have you bought there? I'm, how much have I bought there? Like, well, obviously, you know they sell it. If you bought like dimes there before. Uh, how long have you been buying dimes there? For a while now. What's a while? Keep your hands on the car. Probably four or five months. Five. Four to five months. Ma'am, go ahead and step out for me. Let me speak to you up front. Where y'all coming from? Uh, over there off of D. Did he say what he was doing there? Yeah, we went to go get a sack. A sack? Yeah, we. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have you been there with him before? Mm, yeah, a couple of times, not a lot. Who is he to you? Is he your boyfriend? Mm, your my boyfriend. Or... He's my boyfriend. boyfriend. Okay. Um, do you do any other kind of drugs? No, no. We smoke. Yeah, that's all we do. Smoke. We went to go get a dime from there because some of our friends said they get dimes from there, and we've gotten one there before. Let me see your arms real quick. You don't have any syringe marks, no. track marks, or anything like that. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, this is Officer Nolan, Fort Worth Police Department. I'm out here uh, about 13, no, actually about 800 block of East Rosedale with your son, Justin. Uh, just let me give you a little background. I was speaking with your son. Uh, he was over here attempting to purchase narcotics over at a known drug house that we've got over here on Avenue B off of East River, uh, off of South Riverside Drive. And he's been coming over here, according to him, for quite some period of time now to purchase narcotics. And I'm just assuming, I know he's an adult, but I'm just assuming he's probably still living underneath your roof. And I figured you would probably appreciate knowing this. So, uh, would you like to talk to him? Okay. Not at all, sir. Not at all. Hello? I'll tell you, I'll tell you my story after all this. I'll call you whenever I get out of here. Dad, I ain't buying no narcotics. I heard what he told you. I ain't buying no narcotics. I didn't even buy nothing. I had nothing on me. I was over here. I was getting weed, Dad. And they they saw me up there. No no one was at this house. And I mean, I had nothing on me, Dad. I didn't. I wasn't getting no drugs. I swear. I was. I was gonna buy some weed, yeah. I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. But I'll I'll call you in a little bit, Dad. All right, they answer the phone. All right, bye. You can speak whenever you're ready. Huh? Whenever you, whenever you're ready. 
Just a second, man. Mom, I'm not getting heroin. Ma'am, don't run off with my phone, okay? What? I know, we came out here to get a sack, to get a dime sack, which is 10, you know, like six grams. We came out here to get a sack. And they didn't have any, so we left and we got pulled over because they saw us at the house. And it's a heroin house, but we did not have heroin or weed or anything. By what, weed? Bye. Sir, could you come over here, please? Go ahead and stand right there against the car or whatever. He just, basically what we're out here doing is, you know, I mean, we're doing our jobs, basically. You know, we saw you at the drug house. You're trying to tell us it's a weed house. I've never busted anybody for weed coming from there. It's always been boy and girl, boy and girl, okay? So I'm not gonna sit here and get in a big old debate or argue with you into what your intentions were tonight, okay? What you were trying to buy really doesn't matter. Even if it was weed, it's still illegal, okay? And more so than that, I mean, y'all may be angry at us or not understand, you know, cause y'all a little inconvenience and call y'all's parents and everything else like that. But, you know, for it, really it's for your own good, so, I mean, Maybe, maybe when y'all get just a little bit older, y'all will understand.